the best possible duck you could ever have. But what they have is strictly like my hand raised. I gotta ask you. One, I gotta ask you one thing. It's, it's something that I don't know enough about and want to know. Parasites in bears. Do you have to worry about it? Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you. They carry trichinosis. Right. So now you imagine that, tr like, trichinosis they can, is a wine. How do they get it? Eating other meat-eating animals. Right. So, trichinosis is like, I, I mean, you know this, but is why you're supposed to cook pork. I mean, it's the primary reason you're supposed to cook right. pork good. But now, n over 90% of the cases of trichinosis in the U.S. come from bear, bear meat. Right. And you think right. of how many people are actually eating bear. So that just gives you an idea of how prevalent it is. There was, I remember reading a study, there was two counties in Montana where they found that 100% of the bears over six years of age in these counties were trichinosis positive. Really? I killed a 17 year old bear out of that county one time and sent a piece of its tongue into a lab and they came back and it was trichinosis positive. And they send you a letter from Fish and Game excusing you from wanton waste laws. Basically saying, if you want, you can pitch the bear. Wow. I had off that one bear, besides roasts and stuff, I had 87 pounds of ground meat. Which you don't want to throw away. No way. So I bought a thermometer and I'd like put burgers on, bear burgers on the grill, stick that thermometer in them and just cook them up to whatever it was supposed to be, 150 or 154 or something like that. Yeah, well, it's a time temperature variable, so you can cook at lower temperature for longer time uh, oh, okay. if, you want to kill it, if you want to kill it. So I followed whatever guidelines I had, ate the whole thing, never had a problem. Yeah, but you're I kind of crazy. But I don't know because the only one, there was one time I was cooking a bear loin at a party and I was a little drunk and I kind of, but it was a younger bear and I kind of served up a loin that like the next day I'm like, man, that loin was pretty rare, man. <laughs> and I was on, I was like waiting for like the first phone call to come in being like, dude, I seem to have like a weird um, parasite, you know, <laughs> my, my, my and I'm going to send you my, <laughs> send you my bill. But, but you can also kill it by freezing. Yeah, but the, you know what? You, you read that everywhere, yeah. but then you never see a government, the government agencies say it seems to be effective, but they, but they always say do the cooking. Oh, but really? then you talk to individuals, and individuals will say freezing kills it. Mm -hmm. But anything official, like official guidelines, they'll always tell you kind of, yeah, like Harold McGee's book, mm -hmm. you know, the um, oh, yeah. Science and Lore of the Kitchen, he even talks about it seems like freezing kills it, but cook it. So okay. I don't even send the bears in to test them anymore. I just, just I just assume every bear is... So this has been cooked? Yeah, I do that in my smoker. Cool. Then I take it and put it in my oven. Just to make sure you get it to the, the right Cook the hell out of it. And then I, I think in my oven I can bring up like 160 or something for a while in my oven with a, with a thermometer in the hand. The only problem with doing it is when you puncture that thing with a thermometer, a geyser. <laughs> and you're like, there goes all the, like, the main reason I'm eating this, man. It's like this clear stream of fat shoots out across the room. <laughs> Put a cable thermometer in before you start cooking it. That's a good idea. That way you, that way, you, and leave it in until it's cool. Yeah, it pains me. I always think I'm going to get it like a Absolutely. cork plug. Yeah, so flavor. I pull that thermometer out and put that cork in here. <laughs> it's just because it, when it's hot. So yeah, so don't worry about getting trichinosis off that.